airport and it is about 1 30. okay first of all i'd like to say how's everybody doing i hope everybody's having a good monday everybody hates mondays but i hope it's a good one for you and i'd also like to comment that chantal uh, that's really dangerous for you in the car the airbag if that car even has any would be a problem for you because like, are you even wearing a seatbelt? you're not even wearing a seatbelt. Oh my goodness. Anyways, as I'm filming this, I'm watching her um, current live right now. She's really not talking about anything. The people in the chat are like begging her to go to 7-Eleven because her hotel is right next to that 7-Eleven. And that's all they're doing in the chat. And Salah has popped in every now and then. But yeah, let's get into this one. PM. First, I got my favorite scotch latte from Mug <laughs> Excuse me. Coffee with extra ice. Okay, first of all, if I didn't know Chantal and I were to see her walking through the airport or anywhere in general, I would think that she's pregnant, very pregnant, at least eight months or nine months pregnant. And I'm I'm pretty much sure that's how she's been kind of skating through things, um, pretending like she's pregnant. I, I guarantee it 100%. She's out of breath already. I'm going to my gate for my first leg from Kuwait to Oman. And then it's going to be Oman to... I'm going to miss you, babe. I'm going to miss you so much, you and the pets. Look oh, at her face. Oh, my just, goodness. Just uh, take care of yourself and have a safe travels. Thanks, babe. I love you Look so much. Look at the chemistry between yeah, them. Goodbye. They're sure not banging. <laughs> Cute. Wow. I hear goodbyes. Oh, me too. Take care, honey. I love you. Bye. Goodbye. Nice airport. Why is she going by herself? I wonder. Can you imagine? <laughs> All of you that fly know this. When you walk down those little connection things, I don't know what they're called, the thing that they connect to the plane, that little fake hallway thing, they shake, you know, with normal average size people. Can you imagine if Chantal were walking behind you or in front of you, how that thing would be shaking? Oh man, those seats are tight. And there was a stain on one of them. So it's my first time flying with Oman Air, and it was okay. I mean, the seats were pretty comfortable on par with Qatar Airways, I found. Um, good thing is we had a middle seat. <laughs> okay, notice this. Because I, I watched this earlier. <laughs> Excuse me, I was watching my grandson, so I was watching this at the same time. Um, okay. Number one, she's spilling over into the second seat. The lady doesn't want to have nothing to do with her and is literally scooting over for her life to the seat beside her. So I'm like, oh my God, I can't like, come on. This is embarrassing. Why would you show this, Chantal? Come on. Between me and this nice lady um, sitting with nice me. So lady. Nice lady. She looks like she's trying to escape. I need to turn my humidifier on. It's dry in this house. You know when you run the air conditioner for a long period of time, the air gets so dry. I think that's totally part of the issue with gross, my. But there was a hair. Ew. In my window, I didn't Clean even notice airline, until I'm editing this video. Sorry, guys. Hairs and windows. Thanks, Chantal. I will never fly on this airline. But you know how you, the the house gets like the air gets dry with the air conditioning running all the time. I think that's the problem with my allergies and the post nasal drip and the cough and. Ugh. All this stuff going on. <clears throat> Man, that looks like the Nevada desert. 
I've driven through there many times, so I know. I mean, it's beautiful. I love the desert. Since I mean, uh, technically in Southern California, it's considered Zero desert, I guess. Five. So I'm used to it, but it's actually, it's the absolutely beautiful in the desert. asked if I can film out the window for her with her phone. So I was helping her with that. Especially Look at Arizona. Bye-bye, wow. Kuwait. Arizona, Texas, beautiful country. Nevada, beautiful. Utah, extremely beautiful. I've driven through multiple states. Beautiful. Okay. Man, is that the road that Salah would take you to visit the camels? Look at all that um, sand in the air. I'm sorry. I said mmm to the one person that hates when I say uh and mmm. Sorry. So the flight to Oman was short, so they just offered a okay. snack, which was a okay. curry. Okay, first of all, she is using the woman's tray. That's not even her tray. She jacked the woman's seat, basically, and is jacking the tray. The woman is probably sharing the tray of whoever was sitting beside her, whether it be her husband or sister or whatever. But Chantal has encringed on that woman's area. Curry wow. Curry chickpea puff. Unbelievable. And a piece of cake, and it was actually pretty tasty. Oh, and no. I had oh, some she's uh, pineapple juice with it. I love curry you know, chickpeas. I'm, so. I'm thinking there's no way because the flight looked like it was now that I'm looking at it and thinking about it. The flight looked at, like it was kind of full. So Chantal lies about, oh, there was a seat empty next to me. Bull sheet, Chantal. You purchased two seats. Get out of here. You know you didn't. That's not good. just an empty seat all of a the sudden. The sun was setting as we were flying <coughs> to Oman. And it looks incredible Excuse from me. a plane. What you're seeing is genuine <laughs> unease and fear. There was quite a bit of turbulence oh, as we were approaching Muscat, and I was terrified. Muscat? Yeah, Muscat. She's walking kind of fast. I mean, shut up. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that, actually. It's pretty empty here. In Oman, the Muscat Airport. Going to transfer. Why? Because you couldn't Some afford a direct flight? Looks like sand dunes. Oh, those are neat. I like those. Beautiful. So my gate is A09. So I'm going to be looking for the A8 duty-free store. I'm tempted to go, I'm tempted to go buy a lipstick at Clinique, but I'm going to wait to spend my shopping money in <laughs> where I'm you going. you need a lipstick, Chantal, really? Right. Oh, you do. Because you wear 14 year old makeup. Hello, oh, well. Let's go confirm our flight. Wow. This looks cozy. Can you fit in a booth? I don't think Another so. Breath, yes. <laughs> a lot of walking. Maybe you should have reserved a buggy. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, like, it depends on people what you like i actually think that the call to prayer is really beautiful especially when they do it outdoors in the desert it's it's beautiful it might be not your thing but i think it's beautiful <laughs> chantal never shows that aspect wow. of her kuwait nice life Well, now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering, because we're doing stuff to our house, if that might be an option for outside. Hmm, I'm thinking about it, because we have like to create like a um, like a fountain aspect or water aspect to do the rocks, the river rocks, with the blue lights. Hmm, I gotta show it to my husband. Maybe. You got a spa here. I kind of like the way that looks. And then you could change the color of the lights depending on the holiday. That'd be kind of fun. So I have another over six hour flight ahead of me. Can you guess where I'm going yet? What the hell? Thank God for these conveyor things. It's not very busy here. Probably like Maybe 2 a.m. That would be cool. 
and stretch out more. I'd be scared to get on. Oh, you know what? No, I took that back. I've been on an empty guys, flight before. I we took a red eye to Chicago one time. There was literally maybe four or five people on the flight. It was the weirdest flight I've ever taken. With I think it was American Airlines. This was years ago. It was the creepiest flight with like four people on there. About everything, so stay tuned. Be patient. I can't wait to get there. <laughs> Coffee shop, caribou. She's scoping the food in the airport. Here it is. That wasn't too bad. Duty free store. People okay. waiting. You couldn't reserve a buggy for your time? Alright, let's grab a seat. If there is one. <laughs> I cannot stop sliding. Okay, so in case you haven't That's guessed, I'm traveling city. alone. When I get to my destination, really? I'll explain really? why. Because sure. I forgot my tripod and my luggage. You know, I'm watch as I'm doing this, I'm watching her live stream. I don't think I'm going to do a reaction to it because she's basically laying in bed. And I, like the chat is being the chat as usual enablers begging her to go to 7-Eleven and whatnot. Uh, yeah, it's not even worth it until she is out and about loose, feral in the streets of uh, Bangkok. Then... But no, I'm not going to do a reaction to that crap. And I don't really feel like holding this up to explain, but um, I'll let you know everything when I get to my hotel. We'll have a chit chat. So let's just enjoy oh, the journey chit -chat. of getting to where I'm, I'm going. I'm excited. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Oh my gosh, this nice old man just brought me my passport and um, boarding pass because I've left it over where I was sitting over there. What a dummy. Can we board now? What time is it? Ready to go. Babe, I wish you were here. Who's that type in the airport where they say, don't leave your luggage unattended? And Chantal does. Okay, I can't wait. I'm going to spoil the surprise. I'm going to Bangkok. <laughs> I'll explain everything. I bet you when won't be banging no cock in Bangkok, Chantal. Here it is. Oh, man. She's like in the other seat. The horror. Sitting beside sure, you bought that seat. Stop playing. So this was the one and only meal Ew. service on the no. six and a half no, hour you. flight. And the salad had no dressing, the pasta had no cheese, and the bread had no butter. But honestly, it was <laughs> actually really tasty. The tomato sauce was really good, and I was starving. So when aren't you starving, John? Yum, yum. <laughs> I'm having weird thoughts. Oh, yeah. I'm biting my tongue. I'm gonna have to get a SIM card. Hop soon. on that sweeper and take a ride. Alright, I got my SIM card already. And that took like two seconds. So, and it was cheaper than I thought. It's like 12. Shouldn't you know you've been there before? Days of unlimited 5G data and calls. Alright, we have to check what carousel our luggage is coming on. It's a very big area. But that was a blast. Our breeze. And did you really it doesn't that look like you had a blast now for a or a breeze? Okay, let's see. Uh where's I'm on air? Yeah, where's my stuff? <laughs> I get nervous. I don't know. I'm kind of suspect that uh, Glitter Tits is not with her on this journey. I wonder, you know, why she's going to say she's not going to be specific as to why he's not there. I, I, like, I have no idea. But this to me, the way she is, how scary she is. Like, I don't think <laughs> being alone wandering the streets of Bangkok is smart for her. Oh, All right, going to see if my no. bull ride is here. Let's go see. Bye-bye. Bangkok Airport for now. It's so humid. I'm sweating buckets. So, I just wanted to get to the hotel after this long travel. I had serious jet lag, and I was so nauseous. I, I was coming down with something, and oh, no. because of the traffic in Bangkok, so especially... So, you're coming down with something the rona possibly because that's making a comeback and you decide to get on a plane and travel to another country 
So smart of you. So thoughtful of you, Chantal. And not only that, the Mpox is, you know, making a comeback as well as a stronger variant. So you have to be worried about that too. So, wow. Good looking out for the public, Chantal. Morning. I had to endure Jeez. another hour and 10 minutes ride from the airport to the hotel in the back seat. And oh, I just no. had my eyes closed the, the whole time seat. in between filming these little clips for you guys because I was there. so nauseous. I don't know how Maybe I Maybe you're pregnant. My computer, oh, but no, wait. I somehow did. Okay. When I say I was literally almost starving, I swear. Eggs? That's I a lot of eggs. Like 11 hours and like running around the airport. Now, I know I said I don't like eggs, but have you ever had fried eggs this way? Like with basil? Anyway, this is all halal. And uh, I'm going to like eat because I'm so hungry. I've been craving Thai food. It's minced chicken with basil, fried egg and rice. I'm so hungry and like chili. So that's a lot of I'm gonna food. I'm going to eat this, shower and sleep and I'll see I you mean, guys. If you were feeling ill, <laughs> just, you know, jet lag, back backseat of a car. I don't know if this would be my like go-to meal. Maybe some Tom Yum soup or something like that would be better. I don't know. Not this. I wanted to film more on the ride back, but I was so tired. Oh, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, I really needed that rest. These pillows are so comfy. Oh my gosh. Oh, my God. oh look, see Pat. You see Pat. Where's your real husband, Chantal? I smell Thai food everywhere. There's a place of here across the do. road I want to try. I think it's for food. We're going to try that one of these days. One of these days? How long are you going to be there? And there's these little fishies. Those are Isn't koi fish, ma'am. I'm probably the only person who thinks fish are cute or no? Hello. It's like a jacuzzi for the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's like literally stuck in the it's hard to cross. It's hard to cross the street because there's constant motorcycles going around. Well, if you were thin, you could just make a run for it. That's curious, the, so the like entire fruit, excitement about being in a place oh like that. Fight I'm for your life to get across street the street. Too. You gotta, you gotta fight for your right to cross. There you go. What is here? Oh, it's healthy. You don't want that. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. I don't want to <laughs> oh, get Oh no bike. no! Bike. There it is. Oh my gosh. There it is. I gotta get over. Here's the Seven Eleven. There's her church Here's right a there. House. They give offerings in front of every establishment. They believe that it gives protection. So, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. I'm She's so wide. She's in the street. Okay. What the I want to see what they have down here. Come on. Now, they used to sell these little donuts. Is this the donut person? Yes, the donuts. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have... I don't think you need those. Uh, four bots each. So we'll get five. Yeah. Uh, five, please? Five, please? Yes. Uh, can we? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I wonder what time it is when she's getting these so good. fried <laughs> fritters. Basically, that's what they are. Uh, do they come with a sauce? A sweet sauce? Yeah, uh, yes, please. She doesn't even know what it is. Yes, please. All right, now I'm going to 7 Eleven to see if I can get some snacks. Of course, you are. And some snacks for later because I'm not going to get like a real dinner. So she's out here infected with something who, who knows what, wandering the streets of Thailand, infecting the citizens. Now she's going to 7 Eleven, probably going to touch things like Amberlynn Reed and infect all of that because everybody knows. Chantal does not wash her hands. 33 baht for laundry detergent so I can do it in my sink. <laughs> so wow. this is very popular. Yeah, them. I'm going to try the original for now. Let's see how it goes. It's an inhalant. You know, and I, made it, I made a community post because she's going to be showing... I don't even know what the hell she bought. Excuse my language. Supplements, like herbal supplements. She doesn't even know what she bought. Now, when you're diabetic... And I know this because of my husband. There, there are certain supplements 
that you should not take because they interact with insulin or they're not good for diabetes. You know, certain things can make the blood sugar go up or down, whatever the case might be. If you're on other medications, not even for diabetes, whether it be, you know, heart medication, things like that, cer certain supplements you cannot take. Ev the one everybody knows, I think, is grapefruit. If you're on specific um, pills, you're not advised to, you know, have any type of grapefruit juice or anything like that because it, you know... I guess, uh, counteracts with the medicine. Is that the right word? I don't know if that's the right word. So for her to go in the 7-Eleven and promote this on her channel, because she has stupid idiots that are the Beezers that probably do what she does and will probably go out and seek these supplements and it might be deadly for them. So once again, Chantal giving deadly advice on her channel that she shouldn't be doing and promoting things that could be dangerous for other people she should not be doing now for my throat this is all cough stuff i can't read thai <laughs> i'm sure they have robitussin you could take that maybe the heart one Look lozenges that. there we go okay let's um antiseptic let's try this I must try. What are these? I don't know. Yeah. Let's wow. try some of these. 45 bots. Okay, I'm back from the store. <laughs> and I'm super hot. Wow. And as I'm watching this, I'm watching her live as well. Well, as I'm recording this, I'm watching her live as well. She's on her, the second cup of noodles that she bought at the 7-eleven i don't know how many she purchased but now she's on number two all right it is humid it's not even really compared to kuwait Bangkok? it's I'm like shocked. not even that hot like when i landed yesterday it was like 28 degrees but it's humid so it sticks you know so all right well you uh, are I wearing about five layers of clothing these donuts I got too many. Like you asked for that many. <laughs> with this like sweet coconut pen. I think it's like a pandan sauce. So let me just try one for you guys. Beauty bite. Wow. I won't even tell you. I don't, I'm I not a, a fan of donuts. So. No, thank you. They're super cheap and I wanted to like support their business and stuff. So, um, I what did I have today? What did I have? I had my cup of coffee i had four boiled eggs for breakfast and then for lunch i had some gorbanzo beans or chickpeas with vinegar and olive oil and that's all i've had today no Which donuts for me all the way here so i have to put that away um, I needed a new charger, so I just got one. Why? Why did you need one? I love how the drinks come in this little bag. So I just put ice. Because ice will feel good on my throat. Man. And actually, I'm going to pour one of these bad boys. Zero sugar. In it. I think it fits a whole bottle. Yeah, it does. Exactly a whole bottle. Okay. And I, I'm going to make a comment, too, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, since Salah didn't go on this trip. If they were married and they're so in love, blah, 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 blah. What, like, would anyone leave their husband? Like, if there was an emergency or some situation going on with him, would you leave? Why would you go? Seems kind of suspicious to me, don't you think? They were out of the cheese toasties. They sell out fast, especially really? since they've been viral on social media. They're viral. I have seen cheap, one video. Like, they're like ketchup chips. Okay, she because she's like I guess following TikTok. I don't follow TikTok. I'm not on TikTok like that. I have a TikTok channel because my kids send me videos so I can look at them. But other than that, I'm not like on TikTok like that. As like so apparently a lot of things go viral on there and Chantal is apparently addicted to TikTok as well. So this is where she gets all her medical information, diet information and whatnot from, I'm guessing. I got these antiseptic capsules you saw. 
capsule. Like ginger and like herb and stuff. I can't even read it, but but I'm gonna take works. it. I don't know what's in it. Sounds good. Pepsi. What an idiot! Some of these things here. I see people drinking them on social media. So I'm gonna people do it. Here, the very popular vitamin C. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I see people doing it on social media, so I'm gonna do it too. Hey, cocaine, heroin? Oh, I'm gonna do it too. She, literally, that's what she's doing. She's like insane. <laughs> I do need. Let me try it. Tastes like orange juice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's probably like it has a shitload of glucose in there too. Looks like one of those bottles okay. you get before the test. I got a couple of these spicy noodles. I already ate those. The closest those. thing to soup I could find around here right those now. Those are gone already. <laughs> these throat lozenges. We'll give them a try later. Now this laundry detergent. I think it's laundry detergent. Oh, it's actually dish soap. <laughs> I'm gonna be washing my clothes with dish soap. Go ahead. Uh -oh. Hey. Because I'm too. Ch hey, I. In my days of being broke, I have washed clothes in the bathtub with dish soap. It's, who cares? As long as you clean your clothes and you don't smell. To pay the laundry f fees. I don't know, last time I got my laundry done, but maybe I will again, but... It's called anyway, broke so person so washing great, clothes. It's all right. Just buy one, get one free. It's such a mess. Okay, I got a little body wash because... Um, I actually forgot my body wash. You forgot it. And then I'm going to try this. This is super popular... I think it's called Yadum. Yadum. It's an inhaler. Super addictive. Um, compound herb inhaler. Wow. She's promoting in addictive use, things. Inhale once for the symptoms Congrats. of vertigo. So it's menthol, camphor, bomiol, eucalyptus oil, and other herbs. And people say that this is addictive to inhale. See, it's like a little pouch with the herbs. Let me try it. You might as well get some smelling salts, Chantal. It's probably healthier. Smell like Vicks. <sighs> I need that right now. My son had smelling salts because of football, so we have them around the house. And he snuck up on me and like, "Bom, smell this!" I, I literally jumped out of my soul, jumped out of my body, sniffing that. Smelling salts are no joke. Because I do feel nauseous and dizzy. Ooh, that really gives you like a kick. <laughs> but these are super popular amongst Thai people, oh. and I've seen a lot of expats who live here like talk about it. So. All right, and then I got my hot bag of food. So you have some halal, what? the infamous halal wieners. Oh no, those oh, wieners made a comeback. Sauce, chili sauce. Oh, oh well. lord. Sometimes they give you Excuse chili me. sauce. So it's basically just a halal sausage on a stick. See the halal mark here? Uh oh. These are cheese. She's pointing ones, that out. So probably made with chicken, I oh. guess. But they're so good. No I'm thanks. Just got a pack of those. The smell. Those the, the color of those wieners, whatever those are. No, thank you. Those look disgusting and i cannot believe you're in thailand eating these alleged wieners maybe that's the only wiener you can eat from 7-eleven yuck get out of here get out of here this will be my dinner <laughs> oh, that's so these. sad chicken burger in thailand eating 7-eleven crap again burger. also halal you can find halal food okay this is cheap cheap quick and you know Wow, that's really good. okay. Really good. Anybody you know the ninety nine cent store? I don't. Maybe they sell them at Family Dollar. I don't know. Those are like those hamburgers. My kids used to love those when they were little, and I used to get them during the summertime. Those hamburgers that came, they were in the freezer section. They, I think they had hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and like chicken sandwiches. Disgusting. They're like a dollar. My kids love that crap. That's what she's eating. That Dollar Tree hamburger. Oh no. And they heat it up for you. But my body is not really that sore because I like um <laughs> I had a nice Why hot would it be shower sore? before I went to bed. And that really helped my feet and my back. I took my medications, oh, yeah. I rubbed myself in the She creamed her body. Like, Asper cream type of medication cream. Oh no. And oh, no. I, I slept for a while. I slept for a good eight hours. Can you imagine? Um but I kept getting up and having to run to the washroom. I Why the poop? The thing I ate, the chicken oh, was the with poop? basil. Actually, I don't know if it gave me like stomach illness, but 
So maybe the know it's the Rona. The minced chicken here is a little different than what I what I'm used to. Are you they sure like it was chicken? Everything. There was like so much bone and cartilage in that meal. I'm sorry if it I don't know. Well. This this is not racist for me to say it because uh, I have friends from specific parts of the world. I'm not gonna say they still eat dog and cat. So Chantal, you better make sure you know what meat you're eating. That's all I'm gonna say. But one crunchy thing and chicken and I'm done and there it was like all crunchy things oh. so I think they just chopped up like all the dark meat like the leg there was skin like it has to be pure breast for me or else no so <laughs> that's just how I am taste wise oh. I'm not used to it like the other type like they just eat they don't mind like it's not they're not like you know like that they don't care um <laughs> it's chicken is chicken you know it's food it tasted really good chicken is it's a lizard a texture thing for me and the way I was raised, I can't do it. Like The way you were you raised? Know, so, um, I thought you were a welfare girl. If you're a welfare girl, then you don't turn any kind of food away because you're broke and you eat what you can get. Isn't that right, welfare girl? Yeah, I was I can't pretty much raised on chicken breast whenever we ate chicken. So that's just, uh, just not for me, but it was still good. The other stuff I ordered with it was good. I had like a little pastry. It was really good. So yeah, I'm not downing it, but I'm sure it's, it was a really highly rated popular restaurant. So, but yeah. Um, okay, Karen. I find there's d two different types of people in life from any culture. Those who don't mind the whole chicken and eat like the bone and clean to the bone and everything. I do. Sometimes chew on the bones, eat the bones. And then there's yep. the white breast only people. No, and, I like, love no weird the things entire, in your chicken, so. I love the entire chicken. In fact, uh, Eating the gizzards is one of my favorite things. So yes, I'll eat all of it. Yeah, Even some fried gizzards, fried me, liver. So. Yum. But anyways, <laughs> um, so I'm going to just like start cleaning up and unpacking and stuff. Edit this video for you guys. Try to go live as soon as I can. But it's so busy out there on the streets. It's just like you know, it never sleeps out there. And there's a really cool restaurant across That's the way. That's the fun I'll about have to Thailand. Dinner with you guys tomorrow. So. Be sure to be on the lookout for live streams because oh, um, no. you have to keep me company. Oh my gosh, I didn't even talk about... Let me finish my wiener. I didn't even talk about why. Oh, oh here we go. So with the lies. Here. What? Let's the lies. Now, I watched this already. Now, let me just say this. I really wish if there is like a body analysis person, like a, a human lie detector that can go over her body language in this. And I mean, I don't even think you need a professional. She is clearly lying like i've never i've never heard witness lie to this extent before in my life bravo chantal salah is not here right now because he had um last minute emergency he has to stay sure, in kuwait sure. for and um that i won't talk about it's personal sure um so he has to stay behind for a little while um look she's so making it up as she goes um, but yeah, it's just, it's fine. Um, he's going to deal with it. Now, what can the emergencies be? Let the internet come up with the conspiracy theories. Now, I think considering like she forgot a lot of things, did she leave in a hurry? It kind of seems like, I don't know. Do, like, do you think she forgot soap? She forgot her charger. She left her passport in the airport, like almost like she was kind of escaping Kuwait. I don't know. Or... Did Salah get in trouble with the authorities and she had to flee or some type of scenario like that? Her excuses for why Glitter Tits isn't there are bullshit. 100%. And um, inshallah, he will meet up with me as soon as he can here. He's going to book his flight um, as soon as he can. As soon as he can? It's and full um, locked up? meet me here. You know, I'm going to be here for, we're going to be here for a little while, but it's really too bad. They're going to be there for a little while. Why is that, Chantal? Hmm. You know, um. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. to change everything, basically, so. Um, luckily, his plane ticket was refundable, but for a fee. You know, I would have more respect for you, Chantal, if you told the truth. If you came right out and said exactly what is going on. You would get so much respect from so many people, but you choose to lie and you know this bullcrap. You love living whatever. in the bullcrap. Um, so he's gonna just book rebook his flight whenever he knows when he can come. So hopefully soon. I don't know exactly when. It just you know wow. it was an unforeseen 
thing that happened in his life and in his life but, are you, you know, sure I to stay with him and he was like no 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 you know just i know you really wanted to go well cause now I that i'm thinking about it he was in her live chat earlier so i don't know if he's i don't think he's locked up because do they are they allowed to have phones in the prisons there i don't know i'm thinking it's some type of uh um passport issue or paper issue or something like that where he couldn't travel or she had to escape because of the heat and i wanted like a little bit of reprieve um and honestly we really like bangkok like I'm, i don't know i didn't think i would want to come back because we stayed here so long does salah like banging cock in bangkok last time but whenever you're away from it like it's a vibe like i don't know like if you've ever traveled to bangkok or to thailand you'll know it's like addictive i don't know how to explain it it's like sure, just a really affordable really nice <laughs> vacation place and you never do anything <laughs> like so how is it addictive you literally stay in the hotel room and like judging by the looks of the hotel room uh not a nice one so it's not like you can hotel bees like a, a spa hotel bees you're in a crap hotel so that's addictive to you wow low standards um, there's so much like to do it's just like I don't and you're know not going to do any of it all but any anything yeah i feel bad i miss him and the pets so bad but i'm glad that he'll be there with the pets to take care of them longer um they'll be at home longer like i left him like a whole so that means that you were going to leave the pets in the apartment on their own for the entire time that you were on this little escapade animal yeah, abuser how to take care of them the way i do he does too but like i'm their mom mom you know so you're not a mom so shut it um anyway so that's why um that's it he'll he'll come when he can uh inshallah it's you know in the hands of god right now um, no it's not but he's okay. please stop using that please stop saying it's in the hands of god no it's not it's in the hands of yourself and glitter tits okay and i think i'll be okay I'm, i am lonely and it would be easier to travel with salah um, man what if <laughs> what if now here's another scenario for you if salah sent her on her way now she's picking her nose in the live stream disgusting um sorry about the um sent her like broke down palace style and she's gonna be like a literal mule for some something for some type of uh, luggage the specific luggage that mules carry can you imagine <laughs> chantal watch that movie broke down palace while you're there um just not the same without you babe <laughs> just everything reminds me of you here you know but um, what 7-eleven anyway you know we never have any time apart so maybe it's a little good for us you know <laughs> uh i wonder who <laughs> he's texting right now can you imagine can you imagine i wonder <laughs> what if she let's just say if she returns back to kuwait there's a new couch <laughs> damn um so we're gonna bees we're gonna thailand bees now this was just like an in-between trip so like in between all the places we were planning on traveling to we were actually so wait a minute is this like a trip that is unexpected because the authorities were after you and you had to like evade the authorities so you went to thailand and, and is that why he stayed back there hmm i'm kind of suspect and i'm traveling um december maybe the end of november december or something like that because the places we want to travel to are hot and like really hot. Hot. hot like it's summer you know like really and you know like egypt morocco um malaysia places like that malaysia is kind of like thailand but we just what do you mean kind of like thailand are you insane really 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 wanted to do like an in-between like i was like itching to get out of kuwait a bit because of the heat I have a feeling that this is not a planned trip. I have a feeling because her visa was up for renewal and I think something happened where she needed to make it out of Dodge. There's some underlying like illegal activity here. That's just my feeling. So I thought this is the easiest. I know this place. I've been here. I know what to expect. That's like less stressful for me than not knowing, you know? So yeah, like having to learn a whole new culture and everything on my own. So yeah, I just thought like, this is gonna be better. You haven't even learned the culture in Kuwait. So you, you're really gonna make us try, or try to make us believe that you're gonna learn the culture in Bangkok. Okay, for, for eating 7-Eleven. Right we're just gonna do a little detour, like a little in-between trip to Thailand. Um, we love coming here now so and then um we'll still inshallah like travel like we planned before and do those places but just when it, like everybody i can you please leave a comment in the comment section i want to know what you guys think what your conspiracy theories are is she on the run 
from authorities in uh, Bangkok? Is Salah in trouble? Is that the reason why he couldn't travel? Like I said, there's something weird going on. I don't buy her bullshit. In the winter, basically. We want to spend a good solid like month, month and a half in Kuwait in the winter to show you guys like do a lot of camping and a lot of outdoor activities like that you can't do in the summer. Like what? But yeah. Anyway, this is going to be a really long vlog. I'm going to eat my dinner, try medicate myself, edit my vlog, and just relax. I wonder if she got the edibles already yet. Medicate herself. I bet you. I bet you she has them already. And I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye. First of all, no. That's my little shtick at the end of my videos. I'll see you when I see you, Chantal. You're not allowed to use that. Please. Do I need to trademark that, Chantal? Anyways, I don't believe her story at all. I, I believe there's some type of authorities like involved in this because this trip was seems like it was un unexpected. Like I know she had to do a visa run, but for her to forget certain items and then for Salah to not be there and there's some alleged emergency where he couldn't come. Uh, give me a break. You guys are in some type of trouble. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.